for you. Warm up, start our session, an hour and a half. And uh, this month we are focusing on the strengthening. Strengthening your upper body, strengthening your lower body, strengthening between the core. So let's warm up. We're going to do good push ups. Let's take a deep breath. Let's do Warming up is very important to stretch your muscles or even for strengthening. So let's have a breath circulated. Move over before you start doing any intense exercise. Okay, let's do some Mastika, the fire breathing exercise. Let's do 150 times as you bounce up and down, breathe in and out. So as you go up, inhale, as you go, come down, exhale. And it's a short breath, short and quick. So this is the only type of breathing exercise when we quickly breathe in and out, except uh, the Kapal Bhati, where we exhale more vigorously. But inhale always in both exercises, normal. So you don't emphasize in your inhalation. So let's do now. Breathe in as you bring your arms up. Breathe out as you bring your arms down. So it's easy version of jumping jacks. So we are going to do 40, 30, and 20. So three rounds. So just concentrate on exhalation. Inhalation will happen automatically. And just take an active break for a few seconds before you start second round. You can shake your legs to relax. The muscles, you just strained. And deep breath, always whenever you take a break, take deep breath in between. Let's go for second round. Again, shake your legs. 
deep breath. And let's go for third round of 20. Again, shake your legs. And deep breath in. And let it come out. And let's do some skipping. So easy version. Just bounce on your, use your ankles to move your body slightly up and down. Lift your, your knee in slightly opposite direction. And otherwise, let's go for the breath. And now we are going to abduct your leg away from your body. So move your whole upper body, your arms also towards your upper leg going upwards to your right, to your left, to your right, to your left. It's important to strengthen your your thigh muscles all around, going forward, going backwards, going sideways. Otherwise, let's go. Now, there's a way you can go also backwards. So we did front, we did sideways, and let's go backwards. And backwards, you want to kick, kick backwards. So stand and kick, or you can continuously kick backwards. Let's march swing your arms from your shoulders. Lift your knee high, at least to your abdominal level. Take deep breath. Okay, now let's slow down by, by moving your whole body and turning to your right. Breathe out, go to your left. Always breathe in through your nose, don't forget it. And breathe out through your mouth or nose. Let's bring your feet slightly apart in a twist. One hand behind your back, other hand over your shoulder. Opposite shoulder, opposite back. And breathe out, turn your head, your whole upper body. Keep your lower body stable.
So that's another good way to do your upper body. Let's go with your shoulders. So when swing your arm forward and then up and then backwards. Try to not to keep it away from your body. Keep close to your body. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's go in opposite direction. Go backwards, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, we're gonna use your left arm, same way, go forward, up, back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go for both arms together, but one after another, not together, but right one and then left one. Right one, left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's do the same thing. Going in the opposite direction. Let's do your left arm first, and then right one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's like using not only your arm, but your whole body. That's how when they play in games, they, they would need to use their arms and shoulders they use their whole body. Let's go with your both arms. Let's go forward and then backwards. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go in the opposite direction. Let's go backwards. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's use your lower body now. Either you can take support of your uh, wall or chair or any object. You're gonna move your left leg and both arms back and forth. So like you're walking and kicking. eight, nine, and 10. So keep your toes, your foot flexed upwards so you don't slide your toes on your mat. Sometimes it could be painful. And let's go with the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna kick forward and then quickly turn other way. So go up and then in opposite direction. Let's do first with your left leg. And when you turn to your leg towards right, upper body to your left. So they go in opposite direction. Forward and left. Breathe out, left leg. One more time. <clears throat> you dissolve so many knots. Just those quick, jerky moments. Let's bring your feet slightly apart. And let's stretch your left arm up and upwards. Lean towards your right side. Breathe out.
when you stretch, it's not only stretching, but you have to slow down. Breathe in, take your time, breathe out. It changes the status of your mind. It becomes more meditative if you don't rush. So that's why in our session, we do easy, slow, and fast exercises. Let's go out one more time. The left arm up, take easy. Enjoy your movements. Relax, breathe out and relax and stretch. Breathe in and then breathe out. Sometimes we try to rush to do quick stretching. You can do that sometimes, but you should be able to maintain your slow pace in order to make your mind relaxed, less stressful, let's bring your both arms up as you inhale. Breathe out, take your time, some time. Take 10 seconds to stretch. Let's go towards your left side, inhale first, and then breathe out. Come back, we're gonna do one more time. Inhale. And then exhale. When you are sometime under stress, then you should do slow stretchings. Breathe in and then breathe out. So when you go in slow motion with your body, then your mind slows down. Try to do from your body everything. Feet apart, your arms apart. Make sure your shoulders are not shoved up. They are relaxed down. Arms are parallel to your shoulders, not forward, but keep them as much as possible backwards. So that means you need to wide stretch, wide apart. Wide stretch of your chest, your legs. And let's go forward. And keep it, your arms in the same position. Only thing you're doing is going down from your hips. Keep your chest high. Hold it for a few seconds. And now let's touch your right. Toes, left toes, keep it intermediate pace, not that slow, and not, not that fast either. Ten times on each side, ten, one, two, three, twist your whole body, four, five. Six, knee straight, and 10. Let's place your hands in the middle, middle to adjust your back. So the reason you have your hands down before the next exercise to make sure that your back is flat, your knees are straight, your chest is upwards, Let's go with the left hand forward, right hand backwards. Let's switch, breathe out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. With your both hands forward, both hands backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's place your hands again. Back in the middle, and let's stretch your left arm up. So let's place your hand, your left hand, right in the middle of your feet. 
It could be slightly forward or right in the middle, depending how you can keep your knees straight and twist and hold it for 10 seconds. Let's go over to your left side. And let's go one more time over to your left. And towards your left. Okay, we'll do one more exercise here. Let's bring your feet apart and see how wide you can bring your feet apart so your upper body becomes closer to your mat. So the idea is to bring your shoulders down so you can place your forearms down, your elbows down, then relax your head down. If you are able to bring your elbows down, then it's easy to bring your head down. And then you can place your head on the floor and arms behind. And then let's come up. Let's walk your hands forward. Your shoulders downwards, your hips backwards. So you are trying to bring your chest downwards. So that way you have a good stretch of your shoulders. Let's go forward. Let's go backwards one more time. And then one more time forward. And now let's go back and place your knees down. Keep them apart, really apart. And now here, move your body back and forth. Go with your hips backwards. Hips forward, chest up. And let's place your now forearms down and bring your knees more apart. So you can bring your elbows apart and then chest down and chin on back of your hands. And if you are able to slide your knees more, keep on sliding them out. So you can go with your upper body, lower and lower and lower. So you can bring your even chest and abdomen down if possible. Without straightening up your legs. <laughs> and let's come up. Now let's bring your one foot behind, one backwards. So you can gently go backwards. It's very soothing exercise on your knees. At least I feel it. When you work out doing all those warming up exercises, your knees, your thighs get tight. So this is when you bend your knees, you stretch your quads. So that helps. Let's go one more time forward. Your chest up, shoulders down, your hips down. Always remember, whenever you place your hands down, keep them wide open, your fingers wide open. Your chest high, your shoulders down. Let's go back. Let's 
So when you have your fingers wide open, when you do push-ups or downwards dog, upwards dog, any exercise, even uh, your planks, keep your fingers wide open and chest high. Let's bring the feet together and roll side to side. Concentrate on your pelvis. So bring your pelvis forward. So your chest upwards. So your spine starts from your pelvis all the way bottom. And it ends on your neck, your head. So keep every vertebra straight. We always should practice to keep our body straight because it's very easy to bend forward. But you need to, because the gravity pulls your body downwards. So it's easy to go forward than keeping it straight against the gravity. But it's just how you strengthen up your muscles. Let's stretch your right leg sideways, left knee bent, knees down to your right foot. Keep your, again, your pelvis upwards, your chest up, Shoulders down, left arm up, down. Lean towards your right side. And if you are flexible enough, you can even bend your elbow. But be careful. If you don't keep your back straight, you may hurt your lower back. So you want to keep it really straight. So it's, it's a movement not only from your back, but for, from your hip. So let's go towards your left side. Flex your foot, right arm up, lean towards your left. Use your right hip to go down towards your left side. Don't make any changing in your back. So keep always straight. Let's bring your both feet apart. You can hold down to your toes, pull them towards you, flex your feet. Now let's bring your left hand forward, right one behind. Let's switch. Right one forward, left one backwards. Again, this movement is from your hamstrings, not from your lower back. Hold it. Let's go with the both hands forwards. Walk them forward and hold it. Breathe out, relax. Let's walk your hands more forward. And relax. And more forward. And relax. And more forward. And let's come back. And let's bring the feet together again. And roll side to side. So this gives you a chance to observe your upper body, if that is straight or not. Let's do some good hip stretching exercise. Let's place your both feet forward. And let's place your left ankle onto your right thigh. Again, keep your back straight. Walk your hands forward. Bring your chest towards your upper leg. This exercise you can do in lying position, in standing position, and in sitting position. And let's stretch your legs. Press your right one, and then again, 
Keep your foot, your lower foot away from your hip. Only it's your upper body comes forward. Pelvis forward, your spine straight, your chest forward. And let's come back. Let's cross your legs. Place your hands forward. Your knees apart, your feet apart. And we're gonna lift your knees off the floor as you have your feet apart. Walk your hands in between. Now let's try another good exercise in this position, but it may not be, uh, you know, Comfortable for everyone, but we just did, that is the same exercise. But this time, we're gonna lift your hands, bring your upper body as low as possible. You can hold out your feet or your ankles. So, knees straight and see how low you can go. You can place your head down and then come up. And if you feel comfortable, you can even bring your arms apart and then go slowly down and gently touch your head down and see if you can come up. And then hands again down. Let's bring your heels, toes in, heels in, toes in, heels in, toes in. Keep on walking them while keeping your knees straight. Hold it here. And let's hold down to your left ankle in your right hand. Right one in your left hand, knee straight. And now bring the lower arm over your left one. And then relax your arms, hang them as you bend your knees, and roll up your body. And let's breathe in. Raise your arms up, raise your heels up. This is called Parasana. Par is a type of tree. If you go sometime in Himachal Pradesh, you will find the long straight trees. So this exercise helps to make your body straight. And let's bring your arms apart and then down. Okay, let's do one balancing pose before we go to the next group of postures. Go down to your left foot and your right hand. You will find when you do slow movement exercises, yoga posture slowly, then your mind becomes stable and then your balancing becomes better. More stressful or more under stress you are, more difficult it is to balance. Let's do the same thing, holding your body onto your left foot. And your right foot in your left hand, right arm up. And then come down. Let's do it apart. As usual, these are warrior poses, always great poses for your whole body because you use maximum grip of muscles. Let's turn your feet to your right. Front arm up, look up. So the more muscles you engage simultaneously, better it is. Let's go forward. Your left hand, left arm, from all the way from your foot, back foot, 
Let's place your hand over your foot and right arm up. And then move your upper arm forward first and then down on the floor. Turn your body downwards, your back heel up. So one step at a time and hold it for a few seconds. So both knees are straight, your upper body is straight. Now bend your front knee, move your back foot backwards, hold it, do not rush, stay there. We are going to do a few exercises here. Let's go bring your hips down and chest up. And let's go up again, chest down, hips up, down, breathe out. As you go down, breathe out. Let's go up, go, breathe out. In between, breathe in. And let's place your back knee on the floor. Keep your hands right there. So foot is between your hands. Back foot flat. Now bring your hips all the way back. So front knee is stretched. Hands are parallel to your foot. Front foot. Let's hold it. Your front toes and pull your foot towards you. Hold it. It's a great stretch for your calf muscles. Let's go back forward again. Your hips down. Your left hand onto your thigh. Right hand onto your thigh. And now bend backwards. Your chin back. When you do all these exercises, when you're using so many muscles, there's a, you have a le less chances to get any thyroid problem. Let's go back down again. Back toes on the floor, back knee off the floor. Let's bring your front foot all the way up in air. And downward start, bend your upper knee and then twist. Hold it. And let's go all the way behind with your upper foot. So spin your lower foot to go down. And then your upper arm up, your hips up. And let's go back. Foot down. Let's bring your one heel down, other heel up. Stretch your knee. And let's bring both heels down. Let's go forward into plank. And then upward stock. And then child pose. Okay. Now as we have a aim to do strengthening exercises this month, so let's do, even though we're gonna do all exercises, it's not that we are going to do only some exercises, but we are gonna do all the exercises, but focus is more on strengthening. So what we will do is middle hand push-ups will combine middle hand push-ups and uh, then your plank, two things together. So we are going to do 10 push-ups, 10 second hold, 10 push-ups, 10 second hold, 10 push-ups, 10 seconds hold. So we're gonna do that for three times. So everybody is going to do plank, but when it comes to uh, push-ups, 
So you can place your knees down while doing push-ups. If you like to, if you want to do in plank, that's fine too. Okay, let's hold it, your plank. Right leg straight, your heel backwards and toes forward. This is how you want to have your legs position. Shoulders down, chest high. Middle of chest upwards. Hips parallel to your shoulders. Let's go for both legs up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. Hold it for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, nine, and ten. Time close. We go. We do so many exercises, but we just try to do this one exercise in different ways. Okay, now let's go into upwards dog. Shoulders up, knees off the floor. Downwards dog. Your left leg up and place your left foot outside of your hand. Your back heel down. Keep your front knee bent, right arm up, and then left arm up. Back in the center. Let's go towards your right side. Back and behind, right arm up. Look up, your whole body forward. And then place your hand outside of your foot. Left arm up. And let's bring your left arm all the way forward and down on the floor. Back heel up. Bend your front knee. And let's lower your hips. Make sure you have good distance between your feet. Hips down, chest up. Opposite, chest down, hips up. Five times. And then let's place your Put the knee down, foot flat, bring your hips all the way back. Flex your foot and then hold down to your foot and pull your foot towards you. So you have a good stretch of your calf, your hamstrings. Hamstrings are stubborn like abdominal muscles but in completely opposite way. Let's bring the hips down, chest up. Hamstring wouldn't be flexible and abdomen would, wouldn't be strong. So we have to keep on working on these two different parts of your body. Your right hand down onto your thigh, left hand down, and then your 
Chest up, hips forward. And then down on the floor. Let's place your back, knee off the toes down, knee off the floor. Front leg all the way up in air. Bend your upper knee and then twist your upper hip. And let's bring your back upper foot all the way behind your body. And your hips up. And let's go back. Down the floor. And let's go into upwards dog. Downwards dog. Again, upwards dog. Downwards dog. One more time, forward. And child pose. I'm gonna do 30 push-ups, the diamond push-ups. With knees down or knees up. Diamond push-ups are when you have your, um, your uh, index finger and your thumbs together. So 30, everybody's going to do 30, whether you keep your knees down or knees off the floor, except the beginners. Beginners try to do at least 10. So the only difference becomes knees down, knees up. Otherwise, let's do 30. When uh, you keep on doing these push-ups for days, weeks, months, years, there's no way that your upper body can stay weak. Definitely your triceps, your shoulders, your chest muscles, your abs, all are going to be strong. It may take some time, but it's not possible, that's something you do, and you don't get results. Always you get the results. Sometimes it's late, sometimes it's early, and that's where we don't have a control over. Let's lie down on your back. The arms behind, for, let's bring your knees to, to the chest first. And then straighten up your legs and upper body off the floor. So we'll do two exercises for three times. So we'll hold for 10 seconds in board position. Then we'll bring your leg, one leg up, one leg down. You're going to touch your hand to opposite leg. Three times, ten each. Let's bring your arms behind. Legs halfway down. Hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right leg down, left leg up. Touch your left leg with your right hand. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it again for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go again. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, one, eight, nine, and ten. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, eight, nine, and ten. Next, bring your feet to your soles together. Drop your knees apart. A deep breath. All right, let's turn downwards again onto your knees and palms. And that's going to first child pose. Let's go into Cobra. And let's keep your feet flat and give it a try to go into downward start, just roll over your toes, tippy toes. Right leg up. And this time you're gonna place your right foot over your right hand. The back heel down, left arm up. And then your right arm up. And then let's come back into center. So we did one round. That was another round. Let's bring your feet slightly apart, about 12 inches apart. Hold down to your earlobes. All right. Let's go for squat. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twenty, twenty one. Thirty, thirty-one, forty, forty-one, fifty. Next thing, your feet. Wide open. Let's go into sumo position to make sure that your feet are at right place. Let's come up. Hold on to your lobes. Let's go for another 50. Three. Ten, eleven, twenty, and one, thirty, thirty one. Forty, forty-one, two, and fifty. Breath. Take 
deep breath, active break. So when you take deep breath and keep on moving yourself, that's how you relax in between for 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, let's bring your feet apart. Arms apart, the whole body towards your left, palms up, press into lock your fingers, look up, don't forget to look up, arms apart, let's go forward while keeping your knees down, knees straight, place your hands Alert your foot, bend your front knee, your back heel up. Let's bring your front foot all the way up. Come down on the floor, upwards dark, and then child pose. So we'll do here again, two exercises for three times. The first one I'm going to do is your wide hand push-ups. So let's go for 30 wide hand push-ups. I mean, not 30, sorry, 10. 10 wide hand push-ups with knees down or knees up. So for the beginners or anyone else who can't keep the knees straight, just place them down. Otherwise, bring your knees into straight position. Let's go for 10. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's place your hands in the middle. And we will go for mountain climbing for 10 times on each leg. Let's go to plank, right knee to your right leg, left knee to left, uh, left arm, not leg. So either you can do one at a time or you can continuously do. So 20 all together. Let's go for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. 18, 19, 20. Now let's go for next 10 wide hand push ups. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's do your hands again in the middle this time. We'll do mountain climbing by bringing your knee to opposite arm. Not the same arm, but the opposite arm. 10 over each. Going to plank. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Let's go for the last one. Hands apart, up, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, here we'll do 40 blank jacks. Blank jacks means when you bring your feet in and out. So 20 times outwards, 20 times inwards. So all together, 20. I mean, all together, 40. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, seven, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, eight, nine, ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's go on your back. Let's 
So we did the previous abdominal exercise. We were holding for 10 seconds, then we were bringing your leg one leg at a time. This time we'll do your both legs at the same times. Knees to your chest, knees up, upper body off the floor, arms behind, legs down. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Arms behind, legs down, and then together. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We're doing it twice. Hold it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, eight. Nine and ten. Take deep breath. And that's how you strengthen your core. We will do one more exercise for your lower back and abdomen. So bend your knees. Place your left ankle onto your right thigh. Hold out your foot and your knee. Bring them to your chest. So we're going to do three things at the same times. Work on your lower back, stretching, strengthening your lower back, and strengthening your abdomen. Strengthen your lower leg, upper body off the floor. Fingers behind your neck and skull. Right elbow to your left knee. One, two, three. Oh, breathe out as you go up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's lift your legs. Right ankle to your left thigh. Hold your foot and knee. Bring them towards your chest. Hold it for a few seconds. Then stretch your left leg. Upper body off the floor, fingers behind your neck and head, bring your left elbow to your right knee. One, two, three, four, six, and ten. Deep breath. Your Feet together, soles, drop your knees apart to unlock your hips, to relax your abdominal muscles. Let's turn again onto palms and knees. We have only 10 seconds. We have only 10 seconds for your break. So that's how your exercises can be more effective if you have a last break in between, but you have to take the break. Let's go to samples and then Cobra. Keep your feet flat. Let's go into downward dog. Your left leg up. Place your foot between your heads. Left arm up. You twist here. It's a great exercise for your lower back. Arm backwards. Other arm forward. Back to center. Let's go with your whole body towards your right side. Your upper body. Both arms up, interlock your fingers. Arms apart. Let's go all the way down. 
Bend your front knee, your back knee, I mean back, heel up, front foot all the way back. And on the floor, upwards dog, and then child pose. <sighs> So we're going to try next exercise, but you need to be really careful. So let's place your front, your hands at the edge in front of your mat, at the edge, all the way forward, like you have in child pose. Now, stretch your feet all the way out the end of your mat. So your body is flat, almost very close to the floor. And then your upper knee also. Let's fold it for one, two, three, four. Keep on stretching your feet backwards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The whole idea is, see how close you can bring your body to your mat or to the floor. But don't try, you know, too hard. It might be hard on your shoulders. So be careful, go to the point where you don't feel uncomfortable. But definitely you feel, you should feel the stretch though. Not easy and not too difficult. Difficult is okay, but not over difficult. Let's give it another try. Your hands forward, your knees all the way back first. Let's bring your knees back so your shoulders are down. Now from here, you're gonna lift your knees off the floor and then what? You slide your feet backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not easy. Faster and sometime when you get comfortable, you can do some push-ups also. Okay, let's do another good exercise for your abdomen. Put your arms behind, left leg straight, right knee bent. Lift your upper body and leg. So your leg is between your hands, and let's go back. One, breathe out as you go up. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for 10 more. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's stretch your right leg. This time you are going to do slightly different way. Bring your fingers behind your neck. So each time you go back, you touch your head. Let's lift your leg and the upper body. One, two, three, four. Keep your chin up. Five, six. Breathe out as you go up. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your soles together, knees apart. And let's turn. Downwards again on your palms and knees.
Let's go into child pose. Cobra. Keep your feet flat, roll over on your toes to go into downward dog. Right leg up. Bring your foot between your hands. Right arm up. Look up. Arm backwards. The arm forward. We'll do one balancing pose. We don't even know how fast this one hour goes by. Hold on to your left foot in your right hand behind your right thigh. Left arm up. Let's switch your legs. Right arm up. Yeah. I know some people don't like the next exercise, but sometimes you have to drink your head. Vishka, Piala. You don't want to, but you have to. Let's go forward with your left hand, I mean, left foot, and place your right knee down. So, see. If you're, you have a 90 degree, the front knee is at 90 degree, back knee at 90 degree, your foot is not outwards or inside, it's just right in the middle. So heel should not be pointing in and out, point upwards towards the ceiling. But you're gonna go up and you bring your opposite arm forward, go down, with your same arm forward. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I'm gonna switch your legs. It's a great exercise for your knees and your quads, your thighs. Let's bring your right foot forward. Then your left knee down. Make sure again, 90 degree. Both knees are bent at 90 degree. Your back heel pointing towards ceiling. So that's how you strengthen your knee if you have the correct position of your leg in this position. Okay, let's go up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do, I think we can do one more round. You can feel the burning in your wards, and that's what we want. Step right one forward, back knee off on the floor, left arm forward. I think. Yes, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's bring our left one forward. This time, right knee down, right arm forward. Let's go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. If you want to strengthen your knees, this is one of the greatest exercises. Okay, let's sit down.
your arms apart. Let's lean towards your left side. And then arm up. And then you twist. And then your shoulder down. Your chest up. Neck twisted. Let's go another side. Back. And let's go forward. And let's do the twisting, arms apart, left hand behind, on the floor, right hand over your left thigh. And a twist. Let's go over to your right side. And just up. All the way towards your right side. And then both hands behind. And let's lift your body up onto your knees and hands and legs. And then down. And you would love it. Lie down on your back. The best exercise of the session. Let's make your back flat by Bending your knees and then flattening up your lower back. Now bring your legs straight, feet apart, shoulders down, palms up, neck extended. Let's breathe into your abdomen and breathe out. So exhale, I mean, inhale all the way in to your abdomen and then let it come out normal. Now bring your attention to your right foot, your whole right foot and allow it to be relaxed and then feel it. So these are three things we're gonna scan your whole body with is bringing your attention, allowing it to be relaxed and then observing it, it's relaxed. So same thing, your right ankle. Allow it to be relaxed and feel it. Your right knee, you're gonna go to your joints. Your right thigh joint, which is your hip joint. And let's allow it to relax your left foot. And observe it. Left ankle. Sometime when your any part is tense, you want to have your observation longer and feeling it. Your left knee. And then your left joint, your hip joint. Feel your abdomen to be relaxed and chest. Mm 
the right shoulder. Allow it and feel it. Right elbow. The right wrist. And your hand. Same thing, left shoulder. Left elbow. Wrist. And hand. Now observe your chin and jaws to be relaxed. Lips. Your nose, your cheeks, ears, eyes, your whole face, including the forehead and center of eyebrows. We say one eleven or hundred eleven. That's what we have in our center of eyebrows. So let's flatten them up. Allow your center of eyebrows to relax your number one, number eleven, or hundred eleven. One line, two line, three lines. Your head, your neck. The upper, middle, and lower back. Now your whole body. Be loose and relaxed on your mat. Take deep breath. And roll to your side by bending your knees, keeping your eyes closed. And then take your time to sit up. So we'll take a break today from the Pal Bhati, but we are going to do alternate breathing, meditative alternate breathing. That means you don't have to breathe all the way in and all the way out. So make it slightly longer than your normal inhalation and exhalation. Without using your hands, you're gonna breathe in through your left, out through your right, breathe in through your right, and breathe out through your left. So we are going to do that for 11 times.
Then let's chant all for three times. नमस्ते भैया वेरी गुड क्लास एक क्वेश्चन था भैया कपाल भाती पे कई बार कपाल भाती करते हैं ना व्हेन लाइक यू आर डूइंग इन थाउजेंड्स जैसे तो टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड के करीब तो द हार्ट रेट गो स्टार्ट्स गोइंग अप एंड इट गोज अप टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी हंड्रेड सेवेंटी इज दैट ओके और शुड वी स्टॉप एट दैट पॉइंट That's okay. I mean, you are getting same benefit what you get uh, from running. Running, right? So it's simulation of that, right? Yeah. So that's good, actually. 